fearless fighter for the poor. Fearless fighter for the poor. Total emphasis and with conviction. Welcome to Up Close. I'm your host, Deli Kings. The Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, recently celebrated his 25th anniversary as a parliamentarian. The celebration activities included a visit to the St. Paul's Primary School, where the Prime Minister took the opportunity to talk to the young people and tell them about his growing up in St. Paul's. He also made house calls to seniors and bestowed gift baskets to them, telling them that he felt good, that they encouraged him and empowered him to be the leader that he is today. Lord, my brother, oh, Father God, mm. Mm. night and day, pray for you, night and day. No problem. Night and day, Papa, brother. God oh, bless you all. I remember you used to come here. We yeah. used to better conference, Limo, Southwell, Brian, and those boys from Navy, so remember all of them, you know? All of them, remember all of the boys of them. How old are you now? You? You're about 93. The 26th of May, yes. 98. 98? Yes. 98? 98. Wow. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. And I work hard, you know? I work hard. Thank you. You shall for them time. Your work yeah, has not would. been in vain, I can assure you of that. 25 years later, I'm still here. And I still here. Thanks. You is a man you shall love. But when you come and look for the older heads, you shall love unto them. And I thank you for this visit. By the grace of God, may you go and strike. May God help you go plenty for the steel. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you. You got your island going so good. Yes. If you got to lose it, everything done dead. is, you know. Dead. <laughs> if you got to lose it, everything <laughs> dead. dead. I feel so. I'm feeling. How are you? How are you? Take a picture. How are you? Dead, 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 dead. How are you? Take a picture. I come to say thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank God you bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I was a little boy in the St. Paul's Primary School at age 11 years. And in those days, we did not automatically go to high school. Today, at age 12, when you finish grade 6, you will go on to Charles E. Mills Secondary School. You will go on to Sadler Secondary or any other high school here in St. Kitts. But in those days, you had to do a scholarship exam in order to go on to high school. Notice I say scholarship exam because it was really an entrance exam. But for us down here, because we were so poor, we could only get into that school by way of a scholarship. And lo and behold, back in 1965, I was the only student in this school to have been selected. I believe several of us would have passed. But in those days, only the top was taken. And so I was chosen for my examination results to go on to the grammar school in Bastia. And you know who gave me that scholarship? That is why I said the journey began really in the school. I got that scholarship from our first national hero. And who is he? Who is that? Who is the first national hero? The right, excellent Sir Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw, also from this very same school. And so today, I am where I am because I was helped along that journey by the right, excellent Sir Robert Llewellyn 
Bradshaw, our first national hero and premier of St. Kitts Nevis and Anguilla. Well-known evangelist Bridget Blosher ministered in the village of St. Paul's in a grand gospel concert in celebration of the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas celebrating 25 years as a parliamentarian. During the concert, Ms. Blosher dedicated the song Strength to the Prime Minister and she also prayed with him. If you want God to protect this servant, pray for him when you see him. Pray for him when you don't see him. Pray for him in the night time. Pray for him in the morning. Pray for him when he's on the mountain. And pray for him when he's in the valley. Because the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous. When I'm called. Come on, push your hands. Lord, give him strength. Father, in the name of Jesus, we cover your servant under your blood tonight. We bind every plan of the enemy. We cancel every assignment. And we pray your blood tonight that you cover him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Every cabinet member, every plan that the enemy set, every trap that the enemy set, we cancel it tonight. In the name of Jesus, every hidden agenda, we cancel it tonight. We bind every Judas tonight. We bind every Judas tonight. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare your blessings over your servant. We bring every hidden agenda to light. Every spy. We call forth every spy. We call forth every false brethren. We call them in the light tonight. Lord, reveal yourself tonight. Reveal yourself to your servant tonight. Let him find refuge in you. Let him find strength in you. I pray that you close every door that needs to be closed. And open every door that needs to be open. Open his eyes, Lord. Open his eyes, Lord. Open his eyes, Lord. Help him to recognize the enemy in every disguise. In Jesus' name, we pray for the Federation tonight. We pray that you will give him direction. Give him new ideas, new vision new provision in Jesus name we call it done in Jesus name a reformation to continue to invest in the people of St. Kitts Nevis came from Prime Minister Douglas as a celebration of the red and silver affair took place at the prestigious Carambola restaurant it also gave the Prime Minister a chance to thank those who came before him and laid the path I recall of course people like Marcus Natter, yeah, yeah. Fidel of Lahati, those giants who have departed this life very early, but who laid the foundation on which we have built. And that is why we must remember where we have come from. I want to thank those in the business community who very early allowed me the opportunity to sit with them. I recall, of course, Mr. Kelsick, William Kelsick, who as a young boy, relatively young boy in politics, gave me the opportunity to sit with him and allow me to feel what the private sector feels. Allow me to understand that there has to be a partnership between business, the private sector, and the public sector. It is because of those early years of understanding what it means to run a country where none should be left behind but all should be encouraged to work in partnership for this building of our great country. That is why today 
We welcome those who we call our investors, those who have helped to develop our country, who have come, who have lived with us, who have placed their money to generate employment opportunities for our people so that we can say today that when there is a world beset by a continuing economic and financial crisis, St. Kitts and Nevis can say we at least are moving forward out of that situation. Nevis was part of the activities as the Prime Minister hosted a cocktail at the luxurious Nevis Performing Arts Center. I am here specifically to speak to you on how important it has been for you to step forward step forward in so many different ways those who are the businessmen who welcomed the idea of the people's employment program opened your businesses to trainees making a solid contribution in honing the skills ensuring that there was training available for those of the trained workforce for the future as the economy of St. Kitts and Nevis continues to expand. I want to emphasize and thank in particular your representative in the federal government, the Honorable Patrice Nisbet, who informed our cabinet of the need for this program to be in Nevis and who has been reporting consistently on the outcome of the program here in our sister island of Nevis. I want to remind you that each of you must set goals. There are goals that must be set in life and you must work towards achieving those goals. I must stress that PEP exists not because of any temporary program. PEP is in existence today because the federal government realized that we were undergoing a period of serious adjustment. Factories were letting off our young ladies in large numbers, young men, some of whom had not completed their secondary education and could not find a job easily because there was no experience, there was no particular ac academic achievement that could be relied upon. And so employers doubted whether they could be gainfully employed. You needed to acquire a skill, some training, some experience, so that when the economy again is in full throttle and it is on its way to achieve that, our workforce would have been appropriately trained and ready for when St. Kitts and Nevis continue to take off for a much brighter future than we're experiencing today. Following the well-attended cocktail, the Prime Minister followed up with an interview on the popular morning show, Breakfast Menu, hosted by Mr. Walter, Chef Walty Morton. The SIDF has been a godsend. What's the point of having millions of dollars sitting there and where young people can't get opportunities in life? That's absolute nonsense. And so we have said, let us, Mr. Crossman and your team, I want to commend Mr. Crossman here and his team, the chairman and other members of the board and the CEO of the SIDF, for sitting down and churning out programs, programs of development, programs not just of improvement, but of development, changing people's lives for the future and forever. And so you're right, apart from the PEP, which is coming out of the SIDF proceeds, we have a wise woman, small enterprise, 
wives. We've got several boot camps. All we are seeking to do is to engender cooperation, collaboration with the people of Nevis, with the government of Nevis, and not confrontation. Throughout the entire period that I was the Prime Minister in the former CCM administration, I never talked to any public appearance and condemned the NRP. Never did. When the NRP was in government, and we had a very good working relationship, I never at any time used my relationship to condemn the CCM. There was also a very interesting and enlightening interview conducted by Navision journalist Mr. Steve Manners. When asked by Mr. Manners about legacy to the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister answered with these few words. There was quite a bit of activity. There were two weeks of celebrations. After all, I believe after 25 years, deserve at least two weeks of celebrations. So the 25 years celebration was really an endorsement of that, what has been accomplished for the 25 years. If my legacy is assured, ask the people of Pep. Ask the people of St. Kitts and Nevis who have been empowered. Ask the people in the rural parts of St. Kitts who now feel confident and proud that they can stand tall anywhere in our country, in the Caribbean, around the world, and say they are Kittishans and Nivishans. Ask the thousands of graduates who are the children of the sugarcane workers, but who today are the professors in universities, the doctors attending to us in the hospitals, the engineers, who are preparing for the geothermal electricity generating plants that will be established. Ask the environmentalists who have come from down there and today can stand tall with their future careers. Ask the small businessmen who are now part and parcel of the business community breaking that back of a business sector that came only from a few selected families. Ask them. Ask the children of St. Paul's, of constituency number six, and they will tell you we are the legacy of Dr. Douglas. Thanks for watching Up Close. I'm Deli Keynes of the Sankis Nevis Information Service. SKNIS is now on YouTube. Just run a quick search for The SKNIS to view this program again or any of our other programs. Hit subscribe to be alerted when we upload a new video. You can also connect with us on Facebook. Get started today.